Well, the tunnel cleaning wars are heating up once again. Ten of your side has been covering this saga for nearly a month now. It all began with Andy Fox looking into whether your toll money is going to good use when it comes to cleaning the downtown and midtown tunnels. In his story, Andy asked questions about whether the company tasked to wash the midtown tunnel was up to the task. And now we've learned there's a lawsuit being filed on this battle. Andy Fox is here now with a big update tonight, Andy. Tom and Nicole, a tunnel washer says he will bring suit against VDOT next week. And you need to worry about that because if that happens, taxpayers will be footing the VDOT legal bills. We're suing VDOT because they have wrongfully and illegally took us out of the contract for not one reason. Ken Barlow says, look at the downtown tunnel he power washes. Says, look at the white walls. Here's his competitor, Salim Raja, cleaning the Midtown Tunnel. Barlow says it's obvious this tunnel is dirty, not cleaned properly. Water streaks coming down the walls and says Raja doesn't have the experience that he does. But now Raja beat out Barlow and will scrub clean the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel, the Monitor Merrimack, and the 564 tunnels. And following Raja's protest, VDOT took away Barlow's power washing contracts at the same tunnels, costing Barlow thousands of dollars. They've never had a paying customer. They did not comply with the terms of the IFB. Barlow says he's suing VDOT in part because VDOT is not following its own IFB, invitation for bids, requiring three references from paying customers. According to paperwork we've obtained, Salim Raja's only references are VDOT's Gregory Nataluk, VDOT's Jack Burkhard, ERC's Bruce Wilkerson, HRT's William Collins to clean HRT buses. Barlow's suit will allege these are insiders and not paying customers, and they are tainting the contract awarding process. VDOT emailed us. VDOT rescinded a notice of intent to award to Ken Barlow and is evaluating bids. No other information is available to the public until after a contract is awarded. Barlow also claims he was the low bid on the power washing part of the VDOT contract in disputes what VDOT sent us, that contracts are awarded to the lowest responsive and responsible bidder. I want them to play by their own rules. They publish a document, I want them to live with it. Tunnel washer Celine Raja did not return our phone calls or emails when asked why Raja got the work over Barlow, who cleans the downtown tunnel and has more experience. Layla Rice emailed us. We have an active outreach plan to ensure equal contracting opportunities and look to engage local businesses on the project when possible. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.